Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mufasuke channel with Fusion 360 basic tutorial how to create a 3D whistle. Okay, open your Fusion 360 software and first I will uh, click sketch here and then you can choose uh, this uh, left plan. Okay, first I will create a line. You can click uh, here, line. Start from this point to drag here. Okay, I will give uh, dimension for uh, this line object. Uh, into 60 enter okay you can create circle okay start from uh, two point okay i will use uh, this uh, two point option and click in here move uh, to this point with uh, diameter 32 and enter we create a line again okay start from uh, this point into here okay and then you can click at this point I will create a circle. Okay, start from a center point. You can click at this point. Okay, with uh, diameter 25 and enter. I will create a line object. Okay, start from this point into here. We create again line. Start from uh, this point into this point. And then the last line. Start from this point into here. Okay, next we give uh, dimension, distance from uh, this point into here, okay, 2, and then from uh, this point into here, 5, last from this point into this line object in here, 12, okay, you can select uh, this uh, line object and then delete, okay, and then I will trim this uh, line object next uh, I will create a line object okay start from this point to the top we create a line again from uh, this point into this point okay next I will create a line from this point into here you can uh, give uh, angle for uh, this line object okay in here sorry i will select uh, this line with uh, this line okay with angle in here for 60 degree and okay i will use uh, trim command to cut uh, this object Okay, we cut again in here. Next, uh, I will uh, trim uh, this uh, object. We trim in here. Okay, trim again in here. And then insert here. We trim. Okay, you can zoom in and trim again in here. Okay, I will trim in here. And the last, we trim in here. Okay. We create uh, this uh, simple to this sketch. Next, I will create the uh, construction line. Okay, you can click here construction line. Start from this point to here. We create again. Start from this point to here. Next, uh, I will create uh, angle. Okay, you can tap a D to give uh, angle dimension from uh, this point into here. With uh, angle uh, 20, 20 degree. Okay, and next I will create circle stuff from this point. Okay, I will change into line. Okay, this object. And then we create circle again in here. Okay, you can give a dimension for the circle object 4. And for the circle object 2. Okay. I will uh, give a uh, distance. Okay, first I will create point in here. You can click here and click uh, point uh, command. I will click at uh, this point. Okay, next I will give a uh, distance. Start from this point into here with uh, distance uh, to point five and enter. Next uh, I will create a circle. You can tap C to create a circle. Okay, I will create circle in here. And then I will give a dimension into this uh, circle. Okay, 
16 and for this circle 4 in here 4 okay you can change uh, into tangent uh, snap click here and then I will snap this circle with this circle and then the circle with this object okay we tangent again in here and then we tangent in here okay next you can use a trim command you can tap T to cut uh, the circle object and then we cut it here. sorry I will undo okay I will trim we cut uh, in here. <coughs> okay next uh, we can convert uh, this uh, to this cat into 3d models you can click stop sketch and use uh, extrude command <coughs> okay i will extrude with uh, two sides and then i will give uh, this time okay you can select uh, this uh, two objects okay for uh, this time in here i will set into eight and then for uh, the second distance i will set into eight you can click OK to apply. Okay. Next, I will click in here and active as get one. Okay. I will extrude again this uh, object, this cat. You can click on this extrude command for profile. You can select on this profile and then use uh, two sides. Okay. For uh, the first side, 1.5. Okay. And the last side, 1.5. You can click OK to apply. Okay. Next, I will hide again this sketch one, and then I will select uh, this face. We create a new sketch. Okay. I will create a circle. You can type C. We create from the center point with uh, diameter uh, 32. Okay. And then I will create a rectangle. Okay. Start from this point into this point. Okay, I will use a trim command. You can tap T. We cut uh, this layer object. Okay, and we cut in here. Next, you can stop sketch and then use uh, extrude command. Okay, I will extrude uh, this object and extrude uh, this object with uh, this ten uh, two. And okay, next so uh, we write again uh, new sketch in here okay I will create a circle start from center point with uh, diameter 32 and then we write a rectangle object and start from uh, this point into this point okay you can use a trim command to cut in this uh, line object okay we cut again in here and then I will use uh, extrude command to extrude uh, this face Okay, with uh, this 10, uh, 2, and okay, we put uh, this uh, single scan. Okay, I will use uh, chamfer command. You can click in modify and then click uh, chamfer. Okay, I will select uh, this edge and then you can use uh, this option. Okay, to distance. Okay, for first distance, uh, 3, and for uh, the next distance, uh, 25 okay sorry 22 okay sorry this is uh, for uh, first distance uh, 22 and then uh, the next distance 3 okay this is the result you can click ok to apply next uh, we uh, chamfer again okay I will chamfer at uh, this edge Okay, and for this uh, 10 uh, 2, I will give uh, 20, and then in here 3. You can click OK to apply. You can use uh, fillet command, you can click fillet, and then I will select edge, I will select uh, this edge, and this edge. Okay, we fillet with the uh, radius uh, 25, and OK. I will uh, fillet again at uh, this edge. Okay, you can tap F to fillet, select uh, this edge with uh, radius 1 and OK. Next, uh, I will select uh, this face and then uh, I will uh, create uh, offset uh, command. Okay, you can click offset here, select uh, this edge, okay, I will offset inset here 
with the offset is 10 2 okay sorry I will is a minus 2 and you can click ok to apply next you can use uh, extra command to extrude cut uh, this object I will move uh, to this direction with uh, this 10 minus uh, 0 0.5 and enter okay we extrude cut again in here I will select uh, this face and then you can click uh, offset uh, command Okay, and next you can select uh, this edge and with uh, this 10 minus uh, 2 okay next you can use extra command to extra cut uh, this object with uh, minus uh, 0 0.5 and enter and the last uh, I will use a uh, fillet command you can click modify and then click fillet I will select uh, this edge okay we select again in here in here and then in here with uh, radius 1 and you can click enter okay now we already create uh, this uh, simple 3d model uh, whistle and if you want to render this object okay you can click uh, in here and change into render tab next you can click appearance okay in here I will use uh, plastic uh, material you can click here plastic and then I will use uh, trend solution Okay, for example, I will give a uh, red material. You can uh, apply into this object. Okay. Next, uh, to render uh, this uh, 3D models, you can click uh, this option in render canvas. Okay. This so, uh, start to rendering. You also can setting up uh, lightning by clicking this uh, scan settings, and then you can increase exposure in here. Okay, to make more light. Okay, let's see. Okay, you can close and we can waiting for our rendering until the final result. Okay. okay, enough today for a Fusion 360 basic uh, tutorial how to create a 3D whistle. If you have any question about this uh, tutorial, you can comment below this video. And see you next time in another Fusion 360 basic tutorial.